at that, I'm back with another soy sauce bottle. Get out of here, cat. And I started making this while I was making my other soy sauce bottle and I was gonna like hook them together with a bridge or something, but, but then I decided not to and I scrapped it. I know you're really disappointed. I'm disappointed in myself. One day I will do two soy sauce bottles, but that day is not today. So just enjoy the second Tim Burton themed soy sauce bottle. That's not related to the first one. Anyways, now that that's explained, on with the video. Okay, so on this soy sauce bottle, I'm just adding these little houses all over it, kind of like it's a Victorian house with a bunch of add-ons. I don't know, that just felt Tim Burton-y to me. But hold on, watch me do this roof. Ooh, is that not super satisfying? Trust me, it sucked to do, but it was totally worth it. Because look at that, is that not cute? Boop. <laughs> anyway, ooh, I love this noise. So I'm making this three window thing that kind of looks like a fidget spinner. That was unintentional. Are we still spinning our fidgets? Is that still happening? I don't know, I'm so out of it. Do we have something else that we're doing now? Because I feel like I could really benefit from some fidget toys. I don't really have any, but I have clay to replace my fidgets. Look, if I had a desk job, I would definitely have to have something to keep my hands busy. But luckily I have this job where I get to make cool art. Well, sometimes it's cool. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, questionable, but we don't talk about that art. Anyways, so I don't know, maybe we should make up a story for this vase like we did the last one. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of houses stuck together. I mean, I wanna think hotel, but that's a little on the nose. I know, maybe it's some sort of castle prison and I assume it would be on a hill somewhere because all spooky castle prisons should be on a hill surrounded with dark clouds, but not like a criminal prison, more like somebody's keeping these people prisoned in these houses because they're kind of lacking windows. I mean, they have like that little circle window on the front that makes them kind of look like a birdhouse, but I don't think you're gonna be coming out of that hole because unless you have wings, you're gonna fall, which is why I added this ladder. I'm guessing it's left over from somebody who tried to rescue somebody else from this prison. Ooh, wait, did you see that bat? Okay, so the captor is a bat and he's holding other people or creatures in these houses so that he can suck their blood, you know, like food storage. So it's basically a bat's refrigerator. I don't know, that's weird. Ooh, like a skull from somebody who died. Okay, this story is going nowhere. This is terrible. Maybe the bat is holding people in his people zoo for other bats to look at. You know, like we hold bats in bat zoos. And he tried to model the rooms after what people live in. And that's why they look like houses. This is a terrible story, I am sorry. Maybe I should just stick to explaining the art cause look, look, I'm done. Look at this. And I, of course I gotta add lights because everybody always asks. So that's what it looks like with lights. And then I gotta turn it. And then you wanna see what it looks like with a flower? There it is. And what do you guys think? about the art, not the story. We all know the story sucked. 